In this video, we will discuss how the understanding of God changed over time, how the image of God evolved. I am Roberto Lima Neto, and I believe that our objective in life is to be happy, and that spirituality and Indian psychology, my main areas of interest, can help us in this search for happiness. God has changed over time. Not the real God, the major force that created the Big Bang, or, if you prefer, the God who created the world in six days, as told in Genesis. This major force is unknowable, well above human understanding. But the image of God we hold inside our sight evolved through the centuries. Through human history, we can detect six major stages in the evolution of the God image. The first phase, animism, was present during the hunting and gathering phase of civilization. Our primitive ancestors saw spirits everywhere, animals, trees, mountains, rivers, stones. The second period, patriarchy, came when agriculture was discovered. The nourishing earth responsible for the crops, the great mother, was the deity. A third period, polities, came with the development of the cities and the beginning of wars. The masculine element grew in importance and humanity turned to the polities, dominated by male, male gods. Of special notice for the Western civilization are the Greek gods ruled by Zeus. The fourth period, Tribal monotheism started at least in the Western world with the Hebrews. Out of the many deities that populated the near Middle East, Yahweh, the god of one tribe of nomads, came forth. The third period, universal monotheism. Christianity was the result of universality of the Hebrew religion and dominated the Western world for the last 20 centuries. The major difference of Yahweh and Jesus is that the first was complete, encompassing good and evil. A better way of expressing this idea is to say that Yahweh was above good and evil. He did not dwell in the duality, but in the unicity. The Christian religion, with Christ as the exclusively good God, called for the, called for the demon. In the duality we live, there is no cold without heart, no light without darkness, no good without Clement of Rome, one of the first fathers of the church, is quoted saying that God governs the world with Christ on the right hand and Satan on the left. As a consequence, Satan appears four times in the Old Testament and 66 in the New Testament. The sixth period, individuation, is done in the world with the development of individualism in human beings. More and more people are distancing themselves from what we could call the herd complex and look, looking for their individual ways to search for happiness and the fulfillment of their lives. The problem is that Christian myth that sustained Western civilization for 2000 years is losing its attraction. Its symbols are getting old and are not being renewed. As a result, civilization is passing through a chaotic stage. Human beings are becoming more and more materialists, and I venture to say that the God that rules the world today is money. The Arturian myth is a relatively new, new myth that started to spread in the Western world in the 12th century, although it has ancient roots in the Celtic and Irish myths. When Parsifal and the Knights of the Round Table went in their search for the Grail, they were instructed to follow an individual path one that had never been treated before. It was considered shameful to choose an already tried route. This advice matches perfectly with Jungian psychology. For Jung, each person has to choose his exclusive path in his journey of individuation. Jung suggested that we live a symbolic life using the method of active imagination to dialogue with the personalities inside our, psy our psyches. How to live a spiritual life? How to live a symbolic life? To avoid repeating myself, I will suggest that you view two videos. What is happiness? And want happiness? Talk to our demos. They are in my site, happinessacademyonline.org.
I also suggest that you read the excellent book by Lionel Corbett, Psych and the Sacred. I invite you to visit my site for additional information and to download a free ebook, Shortcuts to Happiness. I wish you happiness. Thanks for your time and attention.